All right, boys and girls, we are back for our second bout of the evening here on Thai Fight League, and it is a super fight at 71 kilograms. In fact, it is an international super fight at 71 kilograms. The US of A versus Tunisia. I don't think we've ever seen a matchup like this before anywhere on Thailand. Thailand taking it on Tunisia, but I'm sure it might have happened somewhere. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thai Fight League episode 31. My name is Chai Kurt Amlet, also known as Kevin, and this is Aaron Asiri Sampan. And tonight we'll be taking you through seven action-packed Muay Thai card Chirk fights. This one not to be missed, an international bout Thailand versus Tunisia. And of course, later on this month, the big Thai fights will return. So every week on Sunday, we are here, all leading up, of course, to the return once again of Senchai, who will be on the big Thai fight. But before that, let's introduce our fighters for this second bout of the evening. In the white corner, Zachariah Mahdi, 28 years of age from Gabes in Tunisia. Standing at 185 centimeters, he has a professional record of 17 fights. 11 victories, 6 losses, with 0 draws. That's right, Zachary Mahdi, my former training partner in fact. And now, introducing the fighter in the black corner. He goes by the name of Luke Johnson. 20 years of age, 171 centimeters tall from Virginia in the United States of America. He's fought 32 times, has 28 victories and 4 losses. And there you see the Oxford United <laughs> campus. Lovely. We've got no updates, unfortunately, for all the people that are asking in the chat. As of now, there you can see the tail of the tick. 14 cents to be a high advantage for Zachariah. However, more experience and a better record, in my opinion, for Luke Johnson. So this is the second bout of the evening. An international bout, 71 kilograms. In the white corner from Tunisia, Zachariah Mahdi. And in the black corner, it's Luke Johnson from the United States of America. And referee in charge is Witterit Sang Arun, judges ringside, Tawan Ing Ubon, Somchai Gohot Tong, and Pukit Pram Prayun. Yeah, I've seen um, Zachary Amade fight a couple of times. Long range fighter, likes to use the lead roundhouse kick. Likes to change stance as well. So we'll see how Luke will deal with this tall Tunisian fighter. Well, looks like he's going to go after him. And it looks like Mahdi, Zachary Mahdi's happy to be off the back foot. Look at the right now, big step in there from the taller fighter. Yeah, he loves to use his range, using it very well there. Just leading Luke into trouble. Yeah, Luke chasing, he's got to be careful. Against a much taller opponent. You can't get yourself exposed like that. But he's all game though. He's got to for that. No kick once again. I mean, that's what you have to do against a long ranging fighter. Chopping down the tree. Yeah, stepping me them. Tapping right hand off the back foot. <laughs> or a left oh. hand, I should say. Buddy's in real big, trouble now. Yeah, big overhand left there. By Luke connects. Something tells me uh, he hasn't met Kacho a couple of times. He's never met Kacho before, probably. Zachary Amadi. Oh, left hand. Korea, all caught in the corner, needs to use those side steps. He's been utilizing it quite a lot in this fight. He's not doing it right now at all. Zachary moving around the ring. Luke still chasing. Looking for that left hand, finds it the second time. Oh, I mean, when he uses that side step, he needs to stop putting his hands down. He needs to keep his face towards his opponent. Oh, there's that big step in the He's got the clinch now, he can utilize his knee here, but referee decides to separate them. Trying to get to the elbow as well from Mahdi. He's been a little bit too hesitant in my opinion. Way, way too hesitant. Just on the back foot a bit too much, and Luke Johnson, do, though, doing all the right things. I think Zachary Mahdi might be a bit hesitant of that card shirt. I don't think he's thrown much punches here in this fight. There we go. I was just about to say, and kicks as well for someone who's got such long legs. His knees, though, they'd be very impressive, I must say. But there's no doubt about it that Luke Johnson is ahead in the scorecards in this round. You can actually hit a corner. It's like, right? He's telling him, kick, kick. He's not listening at all. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going through his mind right now. But so far, everything going well for Luke Johnson. Look at that by Zachariah. Zachariah, that you know, it? Left yeah. hand there over the top by Luke. End of round number one in this international bout. Stay with us, round two up next. And here we go, coming into the second round of action for our second bout of the evening is Luke Johnson of the United States of America in the black corner and Zachariah Mahdi in the white. And it's been, I dare say it, one way traffic for Luke Johnson. Luke Johnson, very aggressive, moving forward and connecting with so many hands. As for Zachariah Mahdi, he had some good knees, just like the one you saw in the replay, but he is not wanting to exchange shots with. Luke Johnson. You never want to be disrespectful about people who get into a ring and wrap their hands in rope. But am I right in saying that Zachary Amado looks a little bit scared right now? Yeah. You know, too too fearful of Luke. I mean, it's the other Kachev effect that we haven't talked about so much, Aaron. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens in round number two. Let's see if Mahdi pushes forward. He started hiking now, going for the elbow. Good attempt. Once again, starting to back up. Oh, stepping knee. Inside kick there by Luke. And a good right hand here. This is much better by Mardi to start round number two. Oh, definitely much better. This kick. Evading the shots to get out of the way of the big shots and throwing back, most importantly. And Luke coming in with a swinging left, left hand. Tempted elbow there by Mardi. As once again, Luke applies the pressure. Good, good. Right up, right up. Very I've seen from Luke Johnson so far. One man from Virginia. Eats a knee though for his efforts. Oh, and again, jumping knee that time. Pushing back, Luke. I think it's fair to say that Mahdi is growing with confidence at the moment. So he throws those shots and then he starts to back up. Giving Luke time to reset. He was doing quite a lot of that in the first round. There's improvement in the second round, but obviously the referee was not impressed either way. Oh, this is the concern! Big left hand there by Luke! Luke taking the head of the big man and just pulling it down with ease. Oh, big left knee to the body here by Marty. I tell you what, he's taken that shot and he's realised he's not made of glass. He can take some shots. Oh, I like what I'm seeing from Mahdi right now. I mean, that left hand from Luke woke him up. Did indeed. This is exactly the, call, the, the waking up call he needed. Sometimes the anticipation is actually worse than what actually happens. I think that's the case. He realized he could take it. Like you said, he fired him up. He built his confidence and then he started to attack for the first time in the fight. We saw some aggressions, some fire in Mahdi. Needs to do more of the same though. Oh, just as I say that though. Oh, I tell you what those knees. Got to give it to Luke Johnson. He is durable. You can't hold the ropes, kid. Oh, big left hand for his troubles. Yeah, I think the referee needs to give him a telling off. You can't hold on to the ropes and attack. We see that we saw that from Mohamed Khalil not so long ago. <laughs> oh. More shots coming in from Luke Johnson. You've got to love the aggression. He is about one game kid, isn't he? The aggression, the accuracy. Just a determination. Mahdi on the back foot oh, again. He eats a left hand. That's the left hand there from Luke. Going in for the kill now with elbows. Mahdi in trouble. He's still on his feet, but at the same time, he's not fighting back. Sprinting backwards now, his body. He's retreating. Another step in need to the body. What an interesting second round we just witnessed here on time. Fight League. Stay with us for the third and final round. It was a massive second round. Once again for Luke Johnson. He just kept on going forward, throwing that left hand. Zachary Mahdi, he did have his moments. He did push forward. There was a moment of aggression, but just wasn't enough, Aaron. No, I agree. It was a bit of a roller coaster ride, wasn't it? Round number two. Both fighters having their ups and downs in that round. But I have to say, Due to the fact that Luke was constantly trying to be at least on the front foot and not doing what Zachary Amadi did, which was run backwards at certain points within that second round, I think I would have to give it to Luke. And I think uh, one of the biggest ways that Luke scored that round is damage. How many yeah. times do we see Mahdi stumble on his feet? 
Here we go, round number three. Big oh, left nice. kick to kick things off, literally in the third round. Swinging with that left hand once again is Luke Johnson. Oh, you can tell Luke Johnson, he wants a knockout. He's had enough of this. Big heart being shown here by Luke. Oh, on the right hand! And down goes Zachariah Maggi! You know, I was looking at him in the second round between the rounds. Yeah. Oh. I his eyes, he didn't want to be here anymore. And I feel like he's showing it right now. I don't think it was hard to get back up. Yeah. There it is, Luke Johnson. How impressive is this young man? Great. I really can't wait to see him back here on TIE Fight and potentially against someone not as tall as well so he doesn't have to leap with those hooks. Well, we've got a few 71 kg fighters on the big TIE Fight shows. Absolutely. Great heart. And great moments of good technique being shown by Luke. Came straight away with that low kick and then as soon as he saw Zachary Amadi on the back foot, decided to go in for the kill. Why did we show that? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> there you can see the leaping Luke going after Zachary Amadi. Grazing the forehead, really, with that right hand. And then you just could tell there was no heart left in Zachary Amadi. But taking nothing away from Mr. Lou Johnson. The pride of Virginia does it here on Tide Fight. Stay with us. Word file up next here on Tide Fight Week. The winner by technical knockout. Black corner, Luke from USA.